How much her mum inspires her, even though they have a kind of fractious relationship and there's these issues going on, the crux of it is Hannah is doing what she is doing, going out and working, going out and fending for herself, um, because she's seen her mum do that, you know, relatively successfully. Um, you know, they're not multi-millionaires, they haven't got a lot behind them, but they do work hard and they've built a, a stable home for themselves. And she's inspired by her mum. I think that was really such a beautiful thing. It's great, I mean, especially when you read a script like that, um, you just see these kind of, this dynamic and you think, great, you get these three, we, we kept referring it to the three generations and how much fun those scenes were to be together and, and feeding off each other. And we kind of did a bit of backstory prior to filming. We kind of created where my dad might have gone, what had happened there. Um, and I think you see one of the lines that Hannah says is something like, I want to kind of follow in your footsteps. Like you are a strong, independent woman and you've managed to kind of, um, raise me really well and I want to be able to do that for my child and, and go out and work. Yeah, I mean what's great is that Gareth set, Gareth and Sally set up a really nice room where we kind of, um, we get to ad lib a little bit so we get to throw in the odd word here and there which makes it more truthful to you as a person to how you would speak. Also having a rehearsal prior to that and also they're just really, they are just genuinely nice people so you're going into a, a place where people are just nice and and welcoming. It can be quite daunting because sometimes we would film a scene and because you're filming, filming TV is really quick, you'd have two minutes to get into the next scene and shoot it and that scene could be you crying your eyes out. <laughs> and I remember being really like, how am I gonna get into this within two minutes and everyone in the room is waiting for you to kind of deliver. Um, but because they set up such a nice atmosphere, including the crew, it just kind of, it just felt comfortable. The thing to remember is that Hannah doesn't know the extent of what her mum has done um, for her, I suppose. She just knows that she's embroiled into something. So Hannah gets the kind of tidbits of things. So she's put two and two together and got 25, and um, but never truly quite understands what's happening. So you can kind of, I suppose, see where Hannah's frustration is, is coming from towards her mum. but. I think the love is still there and um, it's kind of frustrating because you think, oh come on Hannah, you want to kind of support your mum and don't you know what she's doing for you but at the same time you see it from her perspective because you realise she doesn't know actually what June's gone out and done for her daughter.